Hello my fellow fellas and uh, we are back and as you read I will show you how to get the busted badge and also how to solo neon mode in general. So the towers you want are explorer, uh, machinist, wizard, and smasher. No, you don't need the fifth slot and no you shouldn't use the fifth slot. The charms you need are star charm, eye charm, and geo charm. These two you should have because they're relatively easy to get. Star charm, yeah. I. I I'm gonna be honest. I generally try to make a strategy with star uh, without star charm. It's really hard for what it is. I might later on, but uh, yeah, not now. But uh, you obviously want to play on neon mode. And be honest, guys. I don't know why I said you obviously you're gonna play on neon mode. I think that was kind of cringe. But but you want to play on the map Geocade, Disco, Disco, uh, Discord, <laughs> Disco is mid. I mean, they kind of fell off after GOK. I think GOK is generally one of the best maps to solo on. So, um, yeah. But when you load in, you want to place your explorer right here. Somewhere around here. It doesn't have to be that micro. And you want to turn on auto skip for the first uh, 10 waves. So, wave 11, you would turn it off. And now, you will proceed to place four explorers in, like, this square little place. If you can't micro place because you're on mobile, unfortunately, I generally, I don't know what to say to that. Um, here's a little fun fact. I used to make strategies back then, right? And, like, my placements in my strategies used to be, like, you had the micro to win. And, like, every mobile player came in my comments and just say, Oh my gosh, this doesn't work. This guy sucks. And, yeah. But... I'm gonna place explorers in this grid. It's not. It, it does. Uh, unlike my old strategies on a certain other dead game, um, you don't have to make it as micro as you know you need it to. Because I charm gives 10% more range and it's pretty big. And you want to leak these guys? Yeah, you're gonna leak these. Like imagine killing them. That's some mage, dude. And now after you got your four explorers, get them all to level two. Um. We, uh, you gotta use this arcade later on for the, uh, busted badge. The strategy isn't really for busted badge, it's just like, hey, you wanna get it? And you'll get it. Now, there you go. Busted, free. Doesn't give any rewards right now, I don't know if it will and later on in the future. But yeah, uh, get them all to level 2. And that's what you want to do for, like, the next 5 ways. Honestly, Explorers carry so hard in the strategy. Like, I, I personally nerfed, uh, oh, by the way, wait, wait, hold on, before I tell my story. Get these two to level uh, three, and now you want to get both of these to level four, and it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Uh, and uh, yeah, <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I personally nerfed Trapper because like Trapper carried every single event, and it was not much different in summer because it did carry in summer. But like, hey, no, it's too OP. So we uh, personally came in and nerfed it, and for some reason I got hate, but everyone do. Deep down, everyone knew that it had to be done. It had to be nerfed. It, it had to be. It had to be done, guys. I am not the bad guy in this story. I do what I do because I must. It had to be done. The trapper nerf had to be done, and yeah, I got hated on it for a lot. But deep down, we all knew it had to happen. Also, get this guy to level four, and now proceed on to this guy to level four. But yeah, had to be done, guys. Just like every other nerf I did um yeah everyone everyone's like I'm not a balancer I'm the nerfer I did I nerfed everything but hey dude I nerf uh, balanced that entire summer event so you're welcome guys also I got hacks from um, for free it's this this is bugged right now it's supposed to say uh, hacks I gotta uh message my company <laughs> okay real story first get this guy to level three now you want to get this guy to level four um but after it doesn't matter in what way you upgrade these two explorers it can be either or but these two should be level four first so um yeah but i forgot what i was talking about before so yeah oh yeah yeah um real talk i'm not using hacks i i thought it'd be obvious that i was being sarcastic but ge people generally think i'm using hacks and i feel like it's getting out of hand um so yeah but now you want to get this explorer to level um level uh four as well so yeah that's what you're gonna do for half of the i'm not gonna lie neon is so compressed that this is what you do for literally half the game and on wave 11 make sure to turn off your auto skip but we we're already not on wave 11 so yeah but people generally think i'm hacking and i'm not this is i'm i work for gdf i'm a game helper guys look game helper i work for gdf guys i i generally do not hack i i really don't hack so, uh, yeah. 
Alright, sorry for the lack of videos. It's kind of just like content drought right now. So yeah, but I do have two big projects planned and it should be coming up in the up and coming weeks and hopefully one this week, one tomorrow, not tomorrow, <laughs> next week I will get um, another one out. And after you kill this guy, yep, you want to get this explorer. It has to be this explorer specifically, don't ask why, to max level. Uh, so yeah, this is a little RNG based because it the, like your towers can spin around in a 360 because that's how neon and not spin around like move somewhere. I don't know, but this map is actually really nice. It's one of my favorite maps, and this is what I'm gonna use for all my thumbnails. Like this, it, this is just really great for thumbnails. I think I'm just gonna use the blue side only. I may use red sometimes, but like yeah. These thumbnails look pretty sick, am I right? In fact, I think I made the thumbnail uh, for this video on this map too, so yeah. This map is generally really nice. Um, I didn't get finished though. Uh, neon Dust is easy. People think, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're supposed to turn off auto skip. I mean, if you don't, you'll probably live still, but still, it's not worth the risk. But yeah. Uh, people think trapper because trapper nerf it's impossible to solo no it's not like i'm doing this with not even out with a flip slot you know um i'm i i'm supposed to be playing um with op skins so i can like you know do stuff i just max out this guy it kind of has to be like hey if you're on his you should really spam him because like if this guy gets past and you don't have a max explore yeah you're done is he real on what <sighs> he's real on one hp anyways after that you want to Place a machinist and get him to max level, and yeah, um, but yeah, I'm supposed to use default skins because I do a lot of contracting work like thumbnails and trailers, and I'm not really I don't want to like I I can show skins, but I really don't want to show skins because that like most people won't have those skins for a bit because like when you're playing TD, you just generally want to focus on towers instead of skins, so yeah, but. Uh, I, I have Galaxy Wizard on. You know, Wizard is just that tower. It's such a filler tower, you know? Like, hey, if you have nothing else to equip, bring Wizard. Like, it, it's, just, it's something like that, you know? Um, but, but Wizard is whizzing. <laughs> uh, you want to max out all these explorers now, by the way. It doesn't matter in which order. Just max them out. Because they do their little switch here and switch there. I'm everywhere. As this this star guy is a problem, even if he stuns your towers, it really really doesn't matter. So usually you could get really lucky and have these two explorers up here instead of behind like one up and one behind and you could like speed run it. But uh currently I think this is one of the easiest ways to solo, uh, without like meta charms. I mean, if you're doing this with Neon Charm, like, why are you doing this mode? I mean, I guess if they add, like, Neon Quest or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it generally easier to do Xeno's Quest or doing, um, doing, uh, what, what, uh, whatever, uh, doing this mode 25 or 20 times to get the charm? I think just doing this mode 20 times is easier. I love this game, you know? Why did they make that a mesh? Like, it messes up your placements. But after you get your max explorers, you want to place down a wizard, and you want to max it out, basically. But, like... I hate those guys like they're meshes and I hate it I don't like how they're rendered as meshes like it's so annoying like I don't care about the stun like oh yeah cope uh, stun yep cope but man dude like when they get meshes and uh, meshes and they mess up your placement it is annoying it is quite the most annoying thing ever but in general you just want to max out this uh wizard i don't know why i put in general you know sometimes sometimes i go into a recording i have no idea what i'm gonna say then i make 15 grammar mistakes then i in fact i'm gonna rewatch this video before i you know publish it and i'm gonna be like i'm such an idiot why did i say such and such so hey dangler in editing um uh, make sure to plug your discord oh wait I, i'm here now uh guys join my discord down below in description please i'm not advertising enough my old server had like 300 people and now we have like we only have like 60 and i i've i've not advertising as much as i should uh, be but now um besides plugging you just want to place your smashers over here i think you will have around nine in here and you just want to keep placing one by one and the explorers will clean up uh, everything behind yeah you'll have around nine up here 
uh, but keep placing in this like grid right here you know right here and you will win uh, you know, with Neon Charm and Star Charm and Geo Charm, you can win without, um, without, uh, Smasher. You can win with just Ray Blaster, and it's pretty cool. And Ray Blaster got a huge glow up. It went to bad to good. The way it was good to bad to trash to good again. Because of me, you guys. See, and when you're balancing, people don't usually recognize most of the good stuff you do. They just find out the bad stuff and they just hate on you. As I don't recommend skipping at all on this wave because it's kind of risky. But yeah, your explorers will clean up these little little disintegration guys, disintegrants. Oh, I don't know. I suck at speaking. Huh, man. And yeah, uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be broke for a little bit, but just keep placing smashers and you'll win. You will hit your uh, limit one day, but it's it's fine. Once you hit your smasher limit, you're good. You may have to micro a little, but generally you don't really have to because of uh, eye charm. Eye charm is pretty busted, honestly. It got a it got a uh, all the boss charm scenes got a buff, but no one cared about that apparently. But they uh, they all did, guys. They're pretty good. Check them out. They're all pretty good now, and uh, you should use some. And uh, they're pretty a uh, great alternative to Geo Charm or Star Charm, and like yeah, these guys are really annoying. Like I tried to make one without sm a strategy without Smasher, but like these guys always kept ending my runs. But I'm using Smasher, cause I try to make my strategies as easy as possible and less RNG as possible. But when it comes down to Neon Mode, it's level 50 locked, so you should have these towers anyways. I mean. Uh, and charms you should have these towers and charms because you got to grind like normal mode for like 19 hours a day right <laughs> to get um uh eye charm right or something like that and to get explorer so you obviously gonna have i and geo because level they're both level 50 locked and if you're grinded normal mode you'll have explorer and in general you'll have smasher and if you don't have machinist i don't know what you're doing with your life but you should have machinists too. Um, but yeah, you are gonna win. This is a short video, I guess, 12 minutes world record. I recommend micro ring because you know it's not guaranteed win every time. But yeah, well, it is guaranteed win every time. It's just like if you don't micro, you lose. I hate this little delay. Like when you like place the tower. Look, I'm clicking and it just never gets added. Uh, but yeah, there you go. You win. GG. And uh, thanks for watching. And so, oh, wait, I forgot. If you want a busted badge, you want to go here and click the gray button. It will show up. <laughs> it will show up, guys. Trust me. Uh, I, I I forgot to show you how to look. Gray button, boom. When you click it, yeah, you'll get uh, you'll get busted badge. <laughs> I completely forgot to show how to get busted. I was too invested into the strategy. But, yeah, uh, just click that gray button, as you can see right here. When you when you uh, see it, it's usually top here, and click it, and you get the busted badge. And now, thanks for watching. I almost forgot the show busted. That would have been funny.